Good afternoon, my name is Marcello Martirigiano, I'm the manager of ARA Travel. Uh, we are an uh, outgoing uh, medical tourism company. Uh, thanks for the invitation. Uh, I've been invited to talk about a possible strategy uh, of develop of medical tourism in Italy. So that's my point of view. Quello uh, verde grande. Uh, yesterday we've been talking about uh, numbers, statistics. Uh, we have a lack of real statistics about medical tourism in Italy. But I found an article uh, of a newspaper uh, called La Stampa, where it say, they say that in 2016, uh, 200,000 uh, Italians went abroad to receive medical care, and just a few thousand foreigners came to Italy. And my point of view will start from this uh, data. Um, in the left side, you can see the uh, schedule where there of the World Medical Organization that ranks Italy as the second, uh, the second overall health system uh, in all over the world. And uh, in the center schedule, you, you can see that Italians are the fifth in the world for the life expectancy. Uh, more than 82 years. I hope I will experience that. <laughs> and we are the fifth destination all over the world as number of international arrivals. Just these three data uh, could make us understand which potential we are, we have, and what we are losing. We do have a very efficient infrastructure. Uh, we have airport, port. It's very easy to get in Italy. We have good highway. Um, Italy is connected with almost all the rest of the world with direct flight, so uh, people come here for many reasons, uh, mainly for culture, seaside, uh, mountains, and spa center just 3.5% of the share, and maybe it's there where we should focus. It's people which have sensibilities for wellness. Here uh, I just bring an example of uh, the of, of, the, of the multiplier effect of uh, every inv uh, investment in tourism. Uh, what I want to say is that uh, for each euros or for each dollars spent uh, in tourism, the econo economical system benefits of more than 3.2 euros. What does it mean? That if I invest one euro in tourism, in classical, in standard tourism, more than 3.2 euros euros are generated by the system and that's for the classical tourism. We don't have data for medical tourism, maybe you mentioned it before, it's the rate is one to four. Uh, that's a really important uh, point we should consider and especially in a country like our country where we are able to produce medical equipment, this rate could be much more higher. So we really should focus on that. At the moment, uh, we don't have a big effort to marketing our potential abroad. Uh, no private, no public entities are promoting properly abroad. And we are still paying a big difference between regions in Italy. Uh, we do have a very big language barrier. The new generation can talk another language, but elder generation, we know we are not so good in languages. Which are the opportunities we should get? Uh, the European uh, Directive of 2011 says that uh, if a, a patient from a Schengen area is not able to receive a cure in his own country, his uh, medical insurance should pay for the treatment abroad uh, in the Schengen area. Whether the treatment is not possible in his own country or the waiting, is, the waiting list is so long. As we said, we have so big excellence in medicine, we should really find out which medical treatment we are good to provide in a short time. Uh, especially because who comes to Italy come for very high qualified uh, operation, which have very high costs, and that's we, we could all benefit. Our economic economical system could benefit about that. Outside European countries, we talked yesterday about these topics. In my, from my point of view, those are the areas where we should focus our attention. North African countries, uh, after Arab Spring, the health system is a bit poor. 
and especially East uh, ex-Soviet countries, uh, also for a distance issue. They're here in few hours of flight. Um, we really should uh, all together cooperate and find uh, out uh, a strategy that will create a brand, Italy Health. We, uh, it's necessary to make a very important research to find out which treatment we are very good to do and where these treatments are not uh, provided abroad, as we have very high qualified uh, treatment and develop our own strategies. Of course, from my point of view, from my experience, we should provide all-inclusive packages, the hospital and clinics. I invite you all the clinics to delegate to a third part the organization, the marketing of the, um, of the all-in-one packages. And uh, even because they wouldn't have enough energy to think about that, but a special agency should born to care about that. Uh, our company is an example. We, we provide just all-inclusive packages and the market responds very well, not only in Italy but even in different countries. And when it's possible, we, the hospital, of course, whether the, tra the treatment is not so in invasive, we should apply the concept all in one step. The uh, patient wants to go and solve their problem as soon as possible and as easy as possible. Of course, not for all the medical treatment that's possible, but whether it's possible, it's very important. It's sometimes it's even easier to go abroad, spend three, four, five days of, his, of your time, come back home and you have the problem solved, then go and back, even from your same country, to visit the clinic. So that means we should have a really uh, strong cooperation between hospital, clinic, and facilitators. Of course, the, we said already that nurses and documents in the same language as the patient. And uh, a point where I would like to put my attention is the empathetic approach with the, um, with the patient. Sometimes in our company we say that our clients become our children. Uh, we, uh, we have a really uh, attached approach to them and we have to understand we meet these people in a weak moment and they really need the support. Especially nowadays when a lot of people live alone, they maybe go and they want to find a human uh, being which care about them. Uh, every hospital and clinic should have a teleconsultation uh, place, room, and follow up the uh, patient even after. Uh, we should, from uh, our experience, I can say we uh, are really successful when we uh, incentive our customer to share their experience for two months, social network, network, and so on. Of course, always respecting the privacy of the customer, but it gives a lot of result when a new someone who is interesting about the treatment can see a real person in a social uh, uh, in, a, in a social forum or wherever, which had the same problem and solved things. A company can really help us. And how the institution could help. Uh, maybe some your support you program could be applied, especially for uh, a medical comp medical tourism company. Maybe the health minister could make a bilateral agreement with some countries where the health system is poor. And from my point of view, the ENIT, which is our national uh, touristic board should create a special department who cares about medical tourism in order to coordinate and to guideline all the strategies between clinics, hospital, and companies. But what are, in your opinion, uh, the key points of difference between a medical tourist tour operator and a conventional tour operator? Um, from my point of view, it's totally different. Um, I would say if a company is a standard tour operator, it, and want to change his business in a medical tour operator, it must start from zero. Even because our packages, our strategies is selling uh, not through the class traditional channel, which is other travel agencies, but we, uh, the, med the uh, medical packages has to be sold in a different channel. Can be online or with referral doctors, but it's totally, from my point of view, it's a totally different market. Okay. So if other tour operators want to step in, they should 
change their, their specialization and create a dedicated yeah, yeah, oh, exactly a dedicated okay. department uh, with a totally different uh, with people who care just about that um, I from my personal experience I opened my company as a traditional tour operator and then I switched the subject of the activities in a medical tour operator and I don't do anything now what I was doing before it's a totally different job okay. totally different business